Welcome to our open Welcome lesson. To our open Welcome lesson. to our open lesson. Dear students, uh, today we have an interesting topic, our, our uh, open lesson. Uh, the name of our lesson is uh, Genetic Variable Words. It does mean uh, the words which are became from the old uh, English language. Here, uh, it has some tree, yes? And in this tree, you can uh, find some families of the language, okay? And as you know, uh, some of the words, I mean the some, uh, not more than like mobile phone, yes, playing, or rocket, and etc, etc, and the words, it's not old, yes? And it, that way, it has not, uh, they have not any, some original version, it just uh, founded the, some years ago. And, but we have another word in English language, which are they come from the old language. Okay, first of all, the first. Let's <coughs> uh, open your, book, your books and uh, read it. Uh, words. Okay? How we pronounce this word today? Mm -hmm. Okay? And the next, it is uh, original words. It doesn't. Uh, where these words from? I mean, what kind of language, uh, what the first for this word? Okay, let's take the first one. Brazil. What do you think? How it was pronounced the some years or ages ago? What do you think? Brother, maybe. Brother, maybe. So, okay. Brazil. Yes, <laughs> but in Latin, it's the first one, language it was, you surprised. Frater. Yes. Frater. You see, yes. So, frater is uh, the first word which does mean brother from the Latin language. You see? Okay. Mm, next one, next word. World, what do you think? World, world, world. So the world, it's not from the English word. It is came to English language from the old German language. Okay, not the old language, uh, English. And world does mean uh, pronounce the previous age is like this one. We are old. Yes. And it does mean the time, age of the man. You see the world's uh, meaning, it's age of the man. You see? Yes. The meaning of this word, it is age of the man. Okay. The first, uh, how say, uh, root of the words, yes, the famous, it is Indo-European, mm -hmm. as you see, yeah. And it was divided into another famous, like European or... Indo-European. Uh, huh? Iranian, yes. And European, it is uh, German, uh, yes, Romans, or... English, Spanish, Italian, French, you see, yeah, you can see. Ne next branch, it is uh, Indo-Iranian, it is our Hindi, our Uzbek language also, yes? And also we have some other types of the language, it's like uh, Russian language, yes? And what do you think, uh, which famous part is it? Huh? Slavic, yes? Uh -huh. Okay, and uh, is it the part of the Indo-European? What do you think, Slavic? Yes. European, yes. Hmm? Perhaps European. European, yes. And which of the European or the Indo-European? European. European, yes. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Next information. Okay, let's watch some interesting video. Let's go over vocabulary related to evolution. And in this video, we will go over acquired trait, 
diversity, extinction, fitness, speciation, and genetic variation. So let's get started. Acquired trait, features that are developed during the lifetime of an individual. These characteristics are not genetically controlled, nor passed to the next generation. And in the picture is an example, the lady getting the tattoo will not pass the tattoo on to its, her offspring if she has offspring. Next, diversity. Differences between different individuals of the population. And I have two pictures. First, you can see the differences of the different dogs. Our species dying off. And in the picture, you have dinosaurs that became extinct and a meteor getting ready to strike the Earth. And the beaks either increase or decrease their fitness. Speciation. The development of one or more species from an existing species. And the example you can see, you start with the original population, you have some type of maybe a separation, and then in the end you end up with two new species. And genetic variation, the difference in DNA of individuals. And I have two pictures to illustrate this. You can see the wheat, and you can see that the wheat on the left and the right have different genes. Our language, I mean, the, not only the English, Russian, also another, our native English language. With that language, yes, there are, I'll say, take some origin from the sun, deeper moments uh, from the old ancient times. As you heard some legend, uh, the several years ago, not so, some uh, ages ago, it was only the one language, as you know, yes? On the single language. And then time, uh, when they start to build some very highest building at time, yes, and the south, uh, our, not the, our government, just the gods, they decided to uh, destroy this house, uh, I mean, the people in the civil language. What kind of language it was first? Persons. No. What kind of language? Yes. No. No. What kind of language it was? Hmm? Have you heard something about the Babylon? Yes, Greek, maybe. Greek. 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 Yes. 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 Помните? Mm -hmm. вот. Вавилонская башня. Вы что такое вещь? Историю. Вот прочитайте. Ну, Вавилонскую не скажем, не было. Единственное. Это легенда. Это не язык, это легенда. Mm -hmm. Потому что боги разводились и начали их э, разделять на разные языки. Отсюда а как бы пошли разные языки. И один из них это вот латинский, древний, латинский, древний, греческий, древний. Какой еще у нас есть? Египетский язык. То есть, видите, все они древние. Но факт остается в том, что они, некоторые из них вас продолжают существовать. And another question to you, what do you think? Uh, what kind of language are these languages? Please. Latin, yes. And how many people uh, is talking today? Only in uh, medicine. Huh? Only in medicine. Okay, it just on the written form, not in oral form. Okay. Yes, written form, medicine. Okay, we use and also. And the smallest country in the world speaking. Vatican. Vatican. Vatican, yes. The some uh, people in Vatican, they can talk in this uh, language, can speak in this language today. Yes? Uh -huh. The next this language is. Sanskrit. Sanskrit, okay. Next language is, uh, as I remember in our, when I studied at the university, our teacher told that we are uh, Central Asian uh, people and. Uh, Sadhis? Hmm? Sadhis? No, no, no. no. Uh, I'll say in, in Russia, this country, uh, this. Uh, what country? Uh, the human lived in the Russia, in the form of the part of the Russia, I mean the 
northeast part of Russia. Uh, I'll say the, I don't remember what the name what was the name of this uh, people, but what are our the also ancient 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 uh, generation they are from the Russia. Uh, that's why there are a lot of people. Uh, I mean, from the uh, Central Asia uh, countries, that looks uh, like to each other. Why? Because they're from one place. This is, and our language divides. Because as you mentioned, some words from the Turkish language, they are more close to each other. Yes. Yes, they are pronounced as different, but uh, still they have some. Uh, main origin word from the ancient time. Yes? It's not just what it is a puzzle word, okay? You should find the words from uh, bottom of this page, okay? Using anyone, any kind of way. Crossing, line. Whiteboard, who the I need the volunteer, okay. Word by word, okay? You will come here and show oh, the the Yes, you about some dialect, English dialect, yes? yes? And it is related to our topic, am I right? Yes. Okay, yes. thank you. Please, welcome. You may start your topic. Okay. Uh, the history country was uh, bordered by country town uh, to the north, uh, the north sea to the east. Uh, Lancashire, uh, Nottinghamshire, uh, Davyshire and uh, Cheshire to the south, uh, and uh, Lancashire and the western land to the west. Uh, it was the uh, largest by area in the United Kingdom. The country was uh, subdivided into three regions, uh, north, east and west, uh, which from the Middle Ages began to be used for local government functions. Uh, between 1889 uh, and uh, 1974, the readings, readings were uh, administrative countries. Uh, Yorkshire Day is observed annual on 1st August and is a celebration of the general culture of Yorkshire, uh, including its history and dialect. Uh, its, names, its name is used by several instructions, for example, the uh, Royal Yorkshire mm -hmm. uh, Regiment of the British Army in sport and in the media. Uh, the emblem of Yorkshire is the white rose, which was uh, originally the periodic badge, badge of British uh, Royal House of York. Uh, the country is sometimes referred to as God's own country. Yorkshire Yorkshire is represented in sport by uh, Yorkshire Country uh, Cricket Club and Yorkshire Rugby Football Union. Yorkshire mostly follows the ceremonial countries of East Reading of Yorkshire, no, uh, North Yorkshire, South, South Yorkshire and West Yorkshire. Uh, areas outside the countries historically within Yorkshire are part of uh, Greater Manchester, uh, Lancashire, Cumbria and country Durham. The different defined historic country are area bordered uh, has uh, country Durham to the north, uh, the North Sea to the east, Longshire, uh, Lancashire, uh, uh, Nottinghamshire, uh, Derbyshire and uh, Cheshire to the south and 
Lancashire and the Western land to the West. Okay, thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. And it was very <coughs> informal, yes. And next question to you, Dunora. Which countries of the United Kingdom yes, is this island? That? Yes. Eastern kingdoms, Western kingdoms. Which kingdom is that? So, which of so uh, in Lincolnshire mm -hmm. uh, and in uh, Nottinghamshire, uh, Davishire and Cheshire. Uh, okay, and which? The south and Lancashire and the west land. Okay, what west. kind of kingdom is situated in the south? Scotland, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, in the middle is England. Mm -hmm. Here you can see some mm -hmm. words, yes? No whiteboard. Okay. Uh, and here you can see some interesting words. Monkey, rich, lots of different words. Yes? From lots of different uh, sphere. Okay. I need some volunteers. Yeah? And uh, you should take the this, this port like this. Okay. And you should give the definition of this word. Okay? In simple way. <laughs> Just explain to us these words in the some few words. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, please, who will the first? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just the meaning. Just tell the meaning also. For example, let's take the brother. As I told before, it will come from the old language. And what does your brother? Okay. Brother, it is uh, our sibling. Wait, yes? Okay. In the. Uh, <laughs> Is it uh, female or male? Female. Female. Yes, you should be concrete, okay? Because we have also the female siblings too, yeah? Okay. And brother, uh, they can be the older brother or elder brother, am I right? Yeah. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, yes. please, welcome. Laziza? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Logical 
inference, a pattern of similarities across many languages in, in many basic words and endings, which is too widespread across the words to, to be the two chains or some symbolism, and in which uh, one words has have been ruled out must be due to genetic relationship. In linguistics, gene uh, genetic relationship is a usual term for the relationship which exists between languages that are members of the same language family. Uh, for example, in the European language, it's European Southwest to South Asia, uh, after Asiatic language, North Africa to uh, Horn of Africa, Southwest Asia. Two languages are considered to be genetically related if one is descended from the other or if both are descended from a common ancestor. Uh, for example, Italian is descended from Latin. Italian and Latin are therefore said to be genetically related. And we can also see some examples. Mm -hmm. so um, this flower, yes? Flower, yes. Genetic, plumi, uh, petal and plumicha, a derivative, flower pet, a flower pot, flower bed. And also technology, genetic innovation, digital computer, uh, derivative, technological, technologically, the technopolitical. Okay. So, mm -hmm. thank you. That's all. And what kind of upgrade do you use the Eastern countries' uh, language to use? Yes, it's not outright. It's spelled uh, rules in their speech or not. Yeah, of course. Yes. Of course. Can we sure? have their speech? Yes. Yes. Hmm? yes, sometimes they use some of the rules, but they use more sounds mm -hmm. instead of the grammar. Uh -huh. And each sound does mean something. If they change some sound quite different way, uh, and still the error was the same, yes? But the sound in other way, it, uh, the words can be changed uh, in other uh, way, uh, in other uh, translating. Or it doesn't it has some another meaning. And uh, what about the Arabic language? They have alphabet. Hmm? They have alphabet, they have grammar, yes. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, if the author is close to some uh, Indo-European English uh, family or in other Eastern, Western countries language or up to there, close or not? So it does mean uh, not all of the alphabets, yes, to close to some uh, families. They are, they are, they are they differ yeah, with each other. And uh, that's why here you can see the two divided branches, yes, divided also some, a lot of another branches, yes, and in the Iranian they also divided another uh, branch, branch uh, like Hindi, Bengal, uh, and another type, I mean, the uh, Uzbek, Turkish language, it's this type of branch, and European it is more Spanish, they are of the base of this type of uh, language are Latin alphabet, mm -hmm. yes? But here they decided to choose another type of alphabet, yes? In Uzbek language also, they are uh, taken from the another type of language, like Latin language, yes? But Latin language, it is this language, and we know that it's used only in two uh, places. The first place is? Vatican. Huh? Latin. Vatican. Vatican, yes, the still people talk on this. Mm -hmm. And yes. another, where do we can see the Latin language? Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Medicine. Medicine, uh, medicine is mm -hmm. Medicine, I never read the original Latin. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I need to be pure. Yeah. Uh, Vatican, I never saw it. Mm -hmm. It only is here. So, I'm going to show you. Хотя мы считается мертвым. Да? Да. Еще какие вот так вот сюда языки? Мертвые. Да. Лаура. 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 Ну, это мифический язык. Шуис. 
Так, шумели, так. Какие еще есть? Древнеегипетские, древнегреческие. Еще какой нибудь Еще Персидские. Даже фарси есть. Какие вот в Южной Америке и Северной Америке были племена? Майя. Майя, Ну хорошо язык. Да? То есть все языки, они так есть, имеют один корень. Так? Ну, мифический язык, как можно сказать. Но а, они потом родились. Есть разряд египетский, древнеегипетский видели язык? Смотрели дискавы. Ага. Дискавы смотрели, там нет алфавита, у них нет никаких символов, э, каких-то букв. У них какие-то символы на месте каких-то букв. Так? Ага. То же самое древнегреческий. И, допустим, если возьмем наш э, русский язык. I liked it and the activities that the students and you are doing during the lesson are very perfect. So thank you very much. Thank I liked you. the lesson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The lesson is gen genetically related words. So generally I think that all the words are just approximate the majority of the words in English are borrowed. Only 20% of the uh, percentage of the English or uh, it has got its original English. Mm -hmm. But the other uh, comes from other words, uh, international words like German, French, Arabic, even, and other international words. So I think that your uh, just information about the, uh, using this T scheme, T chart, mm -hmm. for your lesson, it's very interesting because mm -hmm. you try to use and compare to types of the English, the modern English, mm -hmm. and I think that it is very interesting and uh, maybe you will go, will go more about and find more interesting information for the, the, regarding to these um, words and to this material. Thank you for the interesting lesson. Okay. Thank you, and I hope it was very interesting to you, yes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. your home task will be to do to find some words, I mean from the old language and modern language words, okay, and compare them, find the origin of these words, yes, uh, I mean the origin of these words, okay, to do the list, you should divide it, in your list into part, like table, uh -huh. the one part will be the modern form of the word, the next will be old types of the word, okay, it will be your home class, and you should write down the, not only the uh, origin, but also you should find definition, okay? And what, how it's pronounced the time, and how it's pronounced today. Okay, okay. is it clear? Yes. It will be your homework, and to do some, and you should learn some phrasal verbs again, okay? I will ask you the next lesson. See you, goodbye. Bye.